the bracket continues from your Illini Nation. Welcome back to the Your Alana Nation Back in the Bracket special. Alana Inquirer's Derek Piper joins us now in studio to help break down the Midwest and South brackets. So let's start south and work our way down, Derek. Early on, you have Villanova on upset alert. Dude, Nova's missing their star guard and Colin Gillespie. They're 0-2 since his injury going to be without him once again. I think Villanova gets it done. They're deep. They're not going to be afraid of this challenge. I think they advance in the first round. Watch out. Wildcats now lower here in the south. A really interesting Sweet 16 matchup if it happens between Arkansas and Ohio State. Two extremely entertaining offenses in Arkansas and Ohio State. Arkansas averaging about 84 a game, up and down pace. Moses Moody, one of the best freshmen in college basketball. Ohio State, we know Dwayne Washington can really fill it up. The Buckeyes and Arkansas both have the firepower to challenge Baylor in this bracket. Two really good teams. Who comes out of the South to the Final Four? I still have Baylor. I know that they haven't been the same team since their COVID pause last month, but Baylor with their athleticism, their guard play, I think they get it done, make their way to the Final Four. All right, now what Illini Nation has been waiting for, the Midwest. How do you feel about the storylines going on in Illinois' side of the region? A really juicy potential matchup, Illinois and Oklahoma State in the Sweet 16. Brad Underwood leaves that program after only one year. I know their fan base down in Stillwater has not forgiven him for it. Also, Io DeSumer versus Cade Cunningham, two of the most entertaining draft prospects in this NCAA tournament. Would love to see them go at it in the Sweet 16. I'm really interested in that one. You had five on upset alert in the last region. How about Tennessee? Tennessee, I think that they're in for a scare. Oregon State is coming in hot after winning the Pac-12 tournament. Tennessee, very athletic, a deep team, but they can really struggle to score. I think the Beavers get it done. And are you riding the orange and blue all the way to the Final Four? I have to. The best inside-out tandem in college basketball, I would assume Kofi Coburn. No one's playing better than them right now in college basketball. And who's filling out your Final Four in the East and the West? I really like Texas coming out of the East. Their veteran guard play, their athleticism. I think they get past Michigan in that bracket. Gonzaga up top in the West. They're just absolutely loaded. Drew Timmy, Corey Kispert. Uh, I think that they get to the Final Four as well. And who's winning the title in your bracket, Derek? A lot of people have the Illini and the Zags. I have Illinois getting it done over the Longhorns to win their first national title in school history. All right, Derek, thank you so much to see his full bracket. It's on our website, WCIA.com. We'll see Trent Meacham's picks coming up in a bit. But first, we're heading back to Indianapolis where Brett is live with more on the Illini who have tried their best to stay busy and entertained while getting ready to suit up. What's up, fellas? This is Corey Bradford, class of 2002. Just want to wish you guys all the best of luck uh, in this upcoming NCAA tournament. Continue to go out there and show the world what Illinois basketball is all about. Go Illini.